Our uh, next inductee was one of those people who started doing his thing at a very early age. Gene McCormick was a uh, youngster. He roped every sight thing in sight. He would throw his rope at weeds, sunflowers, pigs, sheep, wild turkeys, and most of all his friends. Gene started out like many cowboys. He started out riding rough stock. Then he was roping and steer wrestling. Gene eventually quit the rough stock and concentrated on his two specialties, roping and steer wrestling. He won the state championship in calf roping in 1948 in 55, and he was a three-time state steer wrestling championship champion in 1953, 4, and 5. Gene was a member of the PRCA, and he became a gold card member. Gene was a family man, a cowboy, a rancher, and really a man satisfied with his life because he got to do what he dreamed of doing all of his life. Today to accept the award for Gene McCormick is his daughter, Peggy Kaufman. Peggy? Um, I have a painting that's coming up beside us. Gene's granddaughter painted it. And she just had it at 4-H today and won a grand champion. And Grandma wanted to bring it since we don't have Dad with us. <clears throat> On behalf of Gene McCormick and his family, I accept the induction to the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. It is an honor that would mean so much to Dad, and yet it would also be very humbling for a modest cowboy and rancher. He was never one to boast about his accomplishments, but deep in his heart, this would be a great privilege. Some of the kids you saw years ago rooting for their dad in the rodeo arena are here today. The announcers used to make comments about dad bringing along his own cheering section. We came today to cheer once again. This time we brought spouses, grandkids, and friends. When I think back about our rodeo adventures, I can't help but remember the homemade single horse trailer made of wood that went down the road hooked to the bumper of the car. You sure don't see many rigs like that pulling into rodeos today. After the trailer had seen its better days as a joke, Greg Childs painted in big red letters on the back of the tailgate, Caution, show horse. <laughs> Dad still used it. It was a little embarrassing to the rest of us, but it didn't seem to bother him a bit. Several years ago, I bought a book called Grandpa, Tell Me About Your Life. I wanted Dad to write in it so that we could read about some of his memories. One of the pages in the book was, as a youngster, what did you want to be when you grew up? His answer was, all I ever wanted to do was to be a cowboy. A childhood dream fulfilled, a lifelong love of rodeo and ranching in our great state of North Dakota, which, by the way, he always referred to as God's country. Dad was perfectly happy with his life because he did what he wanted to do. Of all the things I've ever heard said about my dad, one of the finest compliments I've ever heard was told to me secondhand by one of my colleagues. Her mother had grown up with Dad near Minokin. She told her daughter that Jean McCormick was always such a gallant man. I thought that was such a flattering statement. After someone says something like that about your dad, you want to know more. According to Miriam Webster, gallant means dashing in appearance or dress, majestic, chivalrously attentive to women, courteous, having a fine appearance, stately, courageous, heroic. Frankly, I couldn't agree with her more. All of these words describe our father. Thank you for honoring our hero. Yeah. One down that way. Very carefully. Okay. Just for old time's sakes, let's have Dad cheered on again, you guys, like we used to at the rodeos. Come on. 